Good morning and welcome to Futura Hall here at 10 o'clock on this fine Monday morning. A little bit muggy, a little bit a little humid, muggy. humid today. It's a little humid. It's currently 84 outside. Okay, right on. So we are at the front of Futural. Um, mm -hmm. It kind of is a little bit different. You're thinking of the front being Garland, but that's actually not the front. So we're going to be right beside the campus bookstore right here. Mm -hmm. you through can the go trees th there. Through the trees. There's a Starbucks in there. If you ever have any questions about your computer, you can go in there and hopefully they can help you out. And you can also just get your books there. So something I suggest to parents is just getting it from there when you come to school. Um, and I got my iPhone screen replaced there once too. No. -uh. Yeah. They oh. Did. Pretty good price. I need to go there because my iPhone is currently broken. Oh no. So good idea to use that bookstore. They also have this thing where you just put it in your class and what the section is, and they find the book for you, which is super nice. Nice. Um. So yeah. Also in the where Garland is, mm -hmm. so you're on the back side of Garland. So where Garland is, you're gonna be right around Pat Walker Health Center by the Northwest Quads, and your closest dining hall is going to be the Fulbright Dining Hall, which is connected to the quads. Um, so you can go there for all of your meals. Past 6 p.m., you can go and do meal trade at certain places, and it starts at actually 4 p.m. in the Union for meal trade. So just things to know mm -hmm. about where you are on campus. Absolutely. I'm trying to give a little shot here of the hall itself. Yes. When was this hall built? It was built in 1963, 1963. and it was named after the president, Futural, um, his wife. So she was very active here on campus for about 26 years and she went to a lot of university functions. So loved her so much they named a hall after her. Very cool. So we will go inside yeah. and start touring. And Do you remember anyone, how many people, roughly? 195, co-ed building with five floors. Yes. There's a ground kind See of See the basement. five floors right there. Yeah, so there's a ground kind of basement, and then there's one, two, three, four. All right. Yeah. And if you guys have any questions, please just type them in the comment box. We will go see a dorm today in bathroom, so mm -hmm. come prepared. All right, we just got fobbed in. It's a big part of the security here, so you need to be sure you get fobbed yeah, in. Yeah, so you'll have a fob with your keys for every single hall, no matter what you're in. Sure. And you can't fob into the dorm unless you have that. You can't knock on the door, no one can let you in. So if your friends are coming to visit you, you need to come down here and actually fob them in. Yeah, looks like we have a camp going on right now. So too. we currently have a camp going on. These mailboxes are fake. You won't actually get your mail here. You'll actually get it at the quads, which mm -hmm. is right where the dining hall is. So, well, yeah. Hey, mind if we say hello to you? Hi. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Eric Peltier. I'm the CRE for Whole Command Futural. Nice. What is a CRE? I'm the coordinator for residence education. I'm the mm -hmm. pro staff member who lives in the hall. I work with the RAs. Um, I work with the residents in the building. I, I um, supervise, not supervise, I can't think, advise, there's yeah. the I advise the lead hogs for the building. Sure. Um, we do a joint lead hogs with our Holcomb staff, or our Holcomb building across the hall. Like the programming and stuff like that? Yeah. yeah. So. What are some programming that you do here in this hall? Um, Futural has a lot of different programs. Mm -hmm. um, one of our larger programs that we do is Futural Coffee House. Oh. Uh, that happens in the uh, spring semester, um, sometime around spring break. Um, so we open that up to the campus. We have it down in the basement, which I think you guys will go look at eventually. Um, and we have some of that stuff. But we have some just joint programs again with Holcomb. Uh, I'm trying to think of some popular ones we have. Winter Wonderland okay. is a cookie decorating one that we have in November. That sounds delicious. Yes, a lot of students like that one. Um, we'll have casino nights, we have a rave in March usually. So very cool. You mentioned the coffee shop. The coffee house, is that like just come, play your guitar, do whatever? Yeah, we, you, we open it up. It's essentially an open mic night. You go and do a poem, uh, sing a song, play music, do whatever. We get coffee from a, dip, from a vendor in town. Um, and usually there's actually a little bit of a competition, so we sometimes have a prize. Um, we've given away, I'm, try, I'm trying to say, remember of prizes we've done in the past. I know we've done like Beats headphones and stuff like that. So. Nice, nice. Something to look forward to if you live yeah. here. Uh, whether you're in this hall or not, you can still come yep. to the coffee shop. Yep. Um, and then we have a desk here. Yeah, right here's in the front desk. Not there's not always someone here, so but when they are here, mm -hmm. we're about to go show you the kitchen and all that stuff. Um, you can actually rent that kitchen utensils and stuff like that out from this front desk right here, and they can ask you or you can ask them any questions that you may have regarding the hall or mm -hmm. regarding the university. So. 
they're someone good to utilize. Very cool. Why don't we go check out some more of this hall? Yes. And whoever is listening, feel free. Uh, tell us where you're from. And um, whether you um, are living here in, in Futural or maybe you lived here in the past, we've had a lot of alumni have tuned in over time as well. So this is going to be the basement ground floor. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to have laundry, just kind of like a hangout room. Um, I'll show you the laundry first. So here we are on the ground oh, no, floor. We'll go yeah, let's go first. check out this yeah. big main room. We'll go to the main room. So this is just like a really cool area to come down and hang out with all your friends. You can get some studying done at the tables that we have. There's also a ping pong table. So if you ever want to have a really cool ping pong tournament, they have that and you can still, like I said, rent the equipment from upstairs at the front desk. Um, there is a bunch of artwork going on. There's a camp here right now. There's some tiles too on this table. I always have people pointed out. It says yeah, U, of U of A. a. And that side says hogs. U of A hogs right so, there. They have vending machines right here that is not included in any fee, so that you're gonna have to pay for out of pocket. Okay. So that means with cash, with your credit card, debit card, or with Apple Pay. Sure. So we discovered that the other day. You can do Apple Pay using your watch. Um, yeah. Eric, do you do much programming here in this room? I would say that it's like for our large hall programs, this is the main area where we do everything. This is where Coffee House will happen, um, and a lot of our bigger building programs will happen in this area. Very cool. How uh, is this your first year here at no, Hopkins, or have you been here? No, this is my uh, third calendar year. I'm going into my fourth school year, though. Oh, wow. Uh, I Fantastic. started in the middle of August, so. Uh, Very cool. 2014. Okay. Yeah. So you've seen things in this hall. Yeah. Yeah. This is, and I've only been, since I've been at the U of A, I've only been in whole command future. So this has been. Gotcha. Any words of wisdom for someone who's coming and living here for their first time? Words of wisdom. Or uh, yeah, tips and tricks about living in Holcomb Hall. Things well, to know, insider track stuff. In Futural, mm -hmm. it's a really calm building. It's a pretty quiet building. Um, we're really well situated. I, I don't know if you guys mentioned it, but I mean, the dining halls are right across the road. We've got the Pat Walker Health Center and the, I mean, we're really a centrally located building yeah. um, and it's pretty quiet here for being as located as we are. Um, and if, yeah, I'm trying to think, I really don't have, I mean, it's a pretty calm building. Sure, so if you're, it seems if you're, like a pretty calm building indeed. Yeah, if you're looking for calm, it's definitely one of the buildings. <laughs> so much chill, so yeah. much chill in this place. Uh, well, you want to look at the uh, yeah. movie room and the kitchenette. Yeah, so we'll look at the kitchenette first. So, like I said, you can write anything from that upstairs front mm -hmm. desk. So you can come here, and there's a table where you can eat, there's a microwave, and there's a fridge, and the best part is a stove top. So if you're ever getting sick of that hall, or dining hall food, mm -hmm. just come here, cook yourself a frozen pizza like I did, cook some sugar cookies. Um, you don't have to bring any of your own stuff. You can if you want to, but it just takes up more space. So definitely something to use with your friends if you're just wanting to make something besides the hall food. Sure, and upstairs at the desk, yeah. I think it's open most evenings. You can go up yeah, there and you can get evenings. stuff. And then we'll right. go this way towards mm -hmm. the movie theater room. It's really cool. I wish I had this in the dorm I lived in. I lived in Yoakum Hall. Do what? So, the movie room, it's so cool. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, so this is some recycling right here. Aluminum, newspaper, oh, newspaper, nice. plastics. Um, uh -huh. Looks like a ping pong battle is about to begin. I think a big pong battle is about to start in there. <laughs> uh, Who will win? Hey. So TV here's room. the super cool TV movie room. Um, it has that black screen up there. You can have put in DVDs. There's a PlayStation and reclining chairs, which is super nice. Mm -hmm. um, Unlike any other residence hall, this is something that's super unique to Future Hall. Something that you should definitely take advantage of because school can get hard and school can get stressful. So it's a nice place to come down here and relax and just take a load off. So, What's one of your favorite movies to watch whenever you're feeling stressed? My ultimate favorite movie is Remember the Titans. Really? I'm a huge football girl. Okay. Huge football girl. So, and I just, I love history too. So it does So that time era, I'm like, yes. Sure. I love that time. It's like 60s, 70s. Okay, yeah, yeah. fantastic. So, All right, well, let's head out and see the little courtyard area. Yes. Good ping pong battle going on. Yes. It does get used quite a bit. It does. Oh. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. For the laundry, did we look at the laundry yet? No, Not I don't think we did. Not yet. We'll look at that after we go out to okay. this courtyard. They're right 
I guess we're going to see the laundry first. I thought the door was before that. <laughs> so we'll see the laundry first. Okay. There are some clothes being washed because there's currently a camp here, so there's a lot of people here. So we're going to have five washers, six dryers, and it's included in your housing fee, so you don't have to put a coin to You don't have to do any of that. It's kind of loud, so let's step out yeah. of there so they can so hear you better. So something cool about the laundry room is they have this laundry alert system. So you can download the app on your phone or you can use your computer. There's a QR code that you can scan and you can scan that and then it will tell you when your clothes are done washing or they're done drying. You can come down here and pick them up if you don't want to stay down here the whole time. It'll also tell you when there's an open one up. So sometimes you'll come down here and it's just kind of annoying because everything's filled up. Because especially if you do your laundry on Sunday, that's when everyone else wants to do it. So it'll tell you when something's open and you can just come down here and grab it. And it'll send a notification to your phone, like through the app, and also if your computer if you choose to do it that way. So there's a sign on the wall, if you have no idea what I'm saying at the end of this, that tells you exactly how to do it. All those instructions right there. All the instructions. And I'll say that for a, for a building like this with five floors, you probably do want to check it before you yeah. bring all, before you schlep all your laundry down Definitely. here. Definitely. Because you need to come down here and have it all ready for Yeah, so. and like, if you're like me, I don't do my laundry probably once a month. I'm horrible at it. <laughs> and so you would come down here and it's just, you have three loads to put in and everything's being used, so. Oh, go right. out here. So this is a cool little courtyard. Um, it's going to show you a little bit about what's kind of on the other side from you. So you have some park benches right here. You can have a little campfire if you want. Just make sure that you ask before you do that. Um, and that's going to be Holcomb Hall, which is your like neighboring hall. Right. And right across the street that's currently under construction is going to be Pat Walker Health Center. So whenever you're sick or you need something, that's going to be your closest doctor's office. Um, and then there's the Northwest Quads, which is right next to it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of where your dining hall is. So right. Fulbright Dining Hall Fulbright is kind of connected to that. So they have really good pasta. They make pasta in front of you. And it's kind of like fried rice in a way. So good. I would walk because my closest dining hall was the Bruff Dining Hall, which is over there towards the business college and all of that. And I'd walk down here just for that. It was so good. Just for, the, just for the stir it. fry, just for the just pasta. for the stir fry. Oh, it was wow. so good. So right. yeah, we'll go back inside, mm -hmm. and now we will go see. Oh, there's a common space on the first floor that we missed. I'd like to like yeah. walk through as well. So we go yeah. up there, and then we can go check out the bedroom, the bathroom, and the uh, bedrooms. We'll walk back up. Yes, back up again. There is no <coughs> elevator in this hall, um, so y'all have to use the stairs, which is not a bad thing because we all need to exercise. Do you want to get to the... Yeah, let's go back out to the front desk side. area. Yeah. We'll go this way. It's super fun at Fiesta, but I like how there's a camp going on right now. There is. Love it. super happy. <laughs> I love it. So there are some more recycling right here. We're all about going green on the campus, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's this good. kind of room where you can this use. This is kind of like a study hall, mm -hmm. I would say. Um, so you can come in here, and there's a piano for our, all you artistic people. Do you play? Do you I like it, there you go. That's from Miley Cyrus when I look at you. <laughs> <laughs> nice whiteboard right there. Uh, so whiteboard, definitely use bring your own expo markers if you're going to do it, however. Um, and you can always do group projects in here if you're in a math class. That's always nice just to work it out on the board. So you can see error or any of that. We don't make errors, so we're fantastic. Right. Um, so I'm study desk right here that you can take advantage of. You'll have a bunch, some class, depending on your class. You'll have a bunch of group projects, so it's also nice when you guys can come here and I'll meet up and definitely take advantage of what you have in your hall. Mm -hmm. All right. I know there's a lot of trophy cases here too. Yes, uh, so there's a lot of competitions. What stuff. was the, uh, is there a long standing history of, of trophy winning for this hall? Yeah, um, we haven't won one in a while, but back actually when this hall was all female, you'll see most of them are for. Um, different various activities, but a lot of them are back so when archery, for example. Okay. Yeah, archery, bowling, basketball. Um, I'm trying to remember, like track and field yes. events. Yeah. yeah. Um, but this 
Paul, way back, I don't know how far back, but used to be graduate students, but before that used to actually be all female. Oh, okay, it was an all female um, hall. Yeah, back in the day. Back, oh, back, back in the interesting. Day. So it doesn't hurt to like look at this. Uh, there's two trophy cases. And if you want to, you can just take a spin through uh, Futural's history. It's really cool, honestly. There's a lot of unique trophies up here. So we got archery, bowling, basketball, a lot of basketball. Um, archery, fencing. Fencing? <laughs> you know, just two fencing trophies right nice. here, tennis. Um, so yeah, some super cool. So, so here's another big common area. Another common area, um, definitely super cool. A really big TV. Definitely good. That is a monster, what is that? I know, that's a monster. I've never seen such a big TV in my life. <laughs> so definitely something good to come down here if you wanted to watch The Bachelor on Monday nights when it comes on soon, or Bachelorette, since I know girls are all about that. Um, and then here's another common space right here where you can just come and just hang out. And there's one back there that has a table as well. So if that study room happened to be a little bit preoccupied, you can come over here and definitely use that. Great, great. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's also some board games. So always a fun, it's always fun to do that. board games. So we're going to go back over here and we're going to go to mm -hmm. the bathroom and we will go to the um, one of the bedrooms. Room. Yeah. So. And we're actually going to show you a room that you might have seen if you came to tour with admissions. <laughs> okay. It's uh, one of our uh, showrooms. It actually yes. has a theme of environmentalism. And it's nice because it's like a real life room. Mm -hmm. Like it has furniture and everything. So it's like, oh, this is Yes. We'll go through on this side. Right. Okay. So there are campers here. So we're going to need to be so, a little bit yeah, aware of. Campers, so we have to knock. We may not be able to go in the bathroom. We'll see. Um, Any folks in here? This one's in the bathroom right okay. now. Okay. So well, we can go look at the hall. Let's go look at the, the, the bedroom and then we'll come back through. Yeah, so um, something I was going to say to parents is the each hall, each floor. It's right here. Is, oh, right here. Each floor is done by girl boy. So like the first and the third floor are gonna be all girl floors. And then the ground, the second, and the fourth floor is gonna be all guys. So you don't have to worry about that. Yes. So right here we're gonna have two beds. You're gonna have two desks with some little side drawers. You're gonna have each uh, big open closet and then you're gonna have, gonna have some drawers right here. Um, all the furniture in here is going to be movable. So you can move it however you want. Honestly, when you move in, I would just leave it how it is because they put it that way for a reason because you're gonna get the most out of your space. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely, you can if you want. There's also gonna be two different size beds in this room, just to show you for example. So this is just gonna be like your regular bed that's up against the wall. Um, it's gonna be 76 inches. Mm -hmm. So we're there, 36 by 76. So this is just going to be like a normal bed, but however you can request a bigger size bed. Mm -hmm. um, and this one's going to be about 80 or so. Yeah, 80 um, in length, 36 uh, width. Yeah. So just for someone who's a little bit taller, and typically you do not put this the longer bed by the door. So if you are wanting the longer bed, you'll have to be against the wall, which is not bad. I love being against the wall. Um, and it does have this little nice shelf up here if you need some extra space. Yeah. Um, just showing you things that you could use in your hall. Um, here's your drying rack. <laughs> You'll definitely need this because if you're like me, I don't dry half of my clothes. So I was constantly just finding places all over my room to hang stuff. So it's nice to have this in your room. Um, you can also put your bath towels on there after you're done taking a shower and everything. So, you can't put your Under Armour, right, in no, the, in the uh, dryer. You can't. You got to put your, uh, I can't. your athleisure I up can't there. put any of my athleisure in the dryer because I know it will shrink. <laughs> um, so here's going to be some closet space. So there's going to be two on top, two on bottom. It is separated by this wall right here. There's also going to be a drawer down here that, oh, that opens. Mm -hmm. um, you can lock it if you bring a little lock with it. If you had something valuable, you can always put that down there. As long as you lock your door, you shouldn't have to worry about locking your bottom drawer unless you don't trust your roommate, which my roommate's my best friend. I hope that is for you too. Um, <laughs> 
So something nice that you can use. And then, like I said, there's like four different hanging shelves. And there's two, there's another one over here. So like this will just be yours. Mm -hmm. So there's two in the room, which is super nice because it's different when you're moving from your house at home to a smaller place here. It's not bad. You'll end up loving this place. I wish I still had a twin bed, honestly. Um, it's just nice because you don't want to get as much clutter. Don't bring as much when you're trying to move in. You can always buy stuff when you get here. This is Walmart USA right here. We got Target. We got TJ Maxx, Bed Bath & Beyond. So bring less rather than bringing more because you are in a smaller space. So you're going to want to use as much open space as you can because you don't want to over clutter it because it can get very over cluttered real quickly. So here's just a desk right here. There are some drawers right here. Like this is where you can lock it. Um, and there's something cool about this chair. If you ever have a lot of your friends in here and y'all are just kind of hanging out, you can actually take this chair off and make this a little rocking chair. Nice. So someone can rock in that while someone's sitting on this one, while someone sits in the bed. Um, so it just kind of depends. Expand your space a little bit. Yeah. And then we've got I this... hated people sitting in my bed unless it was me. I'm ah. one of those weird people. Um, boundaries. Boundaries. <laughs> um, and so we also, this is, like we said earlier, this is our green room. So we have a bunch of things in here that talk, talk about going green. Recycling is a really big thing on this campus. The, um, all halls actually compete for a recycling award. Um, currently, Walton Hall has a two years thing, running. Two years running. Recycle um, mania. Just try to beat them. Everyone mm -hmm. needs to try to beat them. Um, but it does tell you um, all this cool stuff. Like, you can ride your bike on campus. Um, you can ride it after 5 p.m. You can't ride it between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. It is a walk zone only on campus. Well, certain places. Certain on campus, places. But just the, main, the central main central part. part. Yeah. Makes me mad when I'm like walking from the business college to like Old Main and someone's running about. Mm -hmm. oh, nothing makes me mad. <laughs> but like right outside here, you can definitely ride your bike. Sure. Anywhere. You just got to be aware of those signs. Let me um, ask and see. There's a couple people watching. Does anybody yeah. want us to get any particular measurements while we're in here? Yeah, we can definitely do that. We brought a tape measure. Yes, we did. We're here to help. We hope to be that transition for your students and for y'all to get some clarity before moving into the, your new home. So. Mm -hmm. You want to answer anything that you may have. Do you know if we uh, got access to the bathroom? Oh, let's We can see. ask to see if that's the case. Well, I'll ask them. Yeah. Hey, Eric? Yeah. Did we get Do access to the bathroom? Do you know if anyone can open? You think it's open? Sweet. Okay. Let's go. Let me grab my tape measure real quick. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We'll take a look and see. Yeah, so... The bathroom, there's doors on either side. Yeah, so, so you said back the hallways. And forth. We'll share it. Um, yes, they're out. Is that curious? That's not curious, George, is it? No. no. There's a base got a yellow hat on. Curious, George. Okay. Uh, so we're going to have three restrooms right here. You mm -hmm. know, just regular old toilets. They're so fun. <laughs> Two sinks on this side, and then you're going to have three sinks on this side. Mm -hmm. um, just because sometimes there's showers and people like to wash their hands after showers, and it's supposed to be a bathroom. Um, there's going to be four showers right here. Um, you're going to have a changing area where you can go inside of before you go into the shower. So you have a hook right here where you can put your stuff. I suggest bringing a shower caddy to hold all of your stuff in. And then you have the actual shower shower. Mm -hmm. So water pressure is a lot better than you think. It's actually always hot water, which is super nice. People are kind of scared about that when they move into a hall. Everything's super great about it. Um, you have shelves right here where you can put your stuff on. And then of course, it's obvious when one's occupied. So awesome. Awesome. things to know about when you move in and bring a towel wrap and definitely always, always, always wear shower shoes. Hmm. Lessons, Go buy some cheap ones. Lessons learned. Lessons learned. It gets really disgusting. The bathrooms are cleaned every single day. You just have to remember there's so many people taking showers. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's just different. Well, I'm going to make a uh, uh, request to see if anybody has any questions, and if yeah. not, we may just go ahead and say goodbye, and you can um, join us at uh, 2. 2 p.m. Um, for Welcome Hall. Yeah, any, any more questions? I will say um, this isn't the only You Are Come Live that you can watch. We have another home live tours about move-in prep, how to prep yourself before you're about to move into your hall, which everyone's excited about. We're probably about... 
a month or so away. We're a month and four days away mm. from starting classes. And that's kind of dreadful hearing that. Um, but we have that move-in prep. We also have something called Prep Your Tech, um, where you can learn if you're bringing a TV, because you can have a TV in every single room. There's cable in there that also has some HBOs on it. Um, how to set everything up, including like Wi-Fi and stuff like that. It's super easy to use here on campus. And about the campus dining here. Mm -hmm. So something I would tune into just because you want to know everything. Um, it can kind of get confusing, but as long as you watch these videos, it really, really helps a lot. That's what we're trying to do for y'all. We're really trying to help out and make this transition into college super easy for you. Well, thank you, Molly, yeah. for helping with telling us more about uh, Future Hall. Can yeah. you wave us out? We will see y'all later and hopefully watch the Holcomb Hall at 2 p.m. Okay. Bye-bye.